oh my gosh, trying to film this in my home when we're all staying home. If you don't know, I have two boys. They're five and six. My husband's working from home. My dogs are right up. They're actually being really good. They're laying down. Um, so I've kind of like, everybody's dispersed so I can sit down and talk to you very quickly about the books that I hope to read during this readathon. We're gonna fly through this. I just wanna show them to you. And then whenever I finish the week out and we see what all I get finished, I'll talk a bit more in depth about what the books are about and what my thoughts were. Um, but because everybody's waiting for me to do this, I gotta go a little bit quick. So uh, I again, I will link down below Courtney's video and it has all of her challenges in case maybe you wanna go back and do this after watching the video and just for fun. Um, if you wanna know more about what, what she's asking us to do, it'll all be down below. So up first, what I'm currently focusing most of my reading time on is Daisy for Daisies for Innocence. That's by Bailey Cottrell. The cover is so stinking cute. I've had this on my shelf for a couple of years, so I needed to get this one read for sure. And I'm really enjoying it so far. I picked it up last night, and I also downloaded the audiobook version so I can listen to it when I'm walking in the morning outside. Uh, I'm currently on page 101. And then I also am picking up Caught Bread Handed by Ellie Alexander. This is one of my most favorite cozy mystery series. It's the Bake Shop Mystery ser Series. It's just lovely. Oh, I love this series so much. I think this is book either three or four. I'm not sure, but it's a little bit, we're kind of already, things are already going. So I won't give away any spoilers with this, but you can't go wrong. And my wild card, if I get everything else finished and I have a little bit of time, I also have London Lovett's Marigolds and Murder pick to read as well. This is another one that I've been wanting to get to for a while. I hear really great things about it. And again, cover, so stinking cute. One of the uh, challenges that I have a hair on my lip somewhere. Sorry, I keep moving. I see it. Where is it? Got it. Okay. One of the challenges that Courtney has asked us to fulfill is to read a sci-fi cozy mystery. Um, that is way out of my comfort zone. Now, I do read a little bit of everything, and I mean everything. I read horror, I read thriller mystery, I read fiction, I read uh, historical fiction, a little bit of romance. Obviously, I love cozies. I don't read a ton of sci-fi, though. So I thought, what a better time to give it a go? And usually, cozy mysteries are a great way to kind of like dabble in other genres because you're not investing too much of yourself into the storyline of the characters. Um, so I thought, why not? So I looked on Kindle Unlimited and they did have one that was included with the Kindle Unlimited membership. I cannot remember the name of it. So I'll try to grab a picture and pop it here somewhere or list the title so that you can look it up as well. Um, and it is really good. I'm enjoying it so far. It's really neat to read a, a book that's set on a spaceship and kind of like getting the lay of the spaceship. And there's another hair got it again um the main character is a human but she is working side by side with other what we call them aliens or creatures i don't know and as she's introducing them they kind of talk about like how they look and how their bodies work and different things that are going on as they are moving about the ship it's very interesting and this one in particular is funny um, i'm really enjoying it so i'm reading that on my kindle before i go to bed at night is that everything? I think that's everything. So let's just enjoy this week together. Thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you. I'll see you here in a little bit.
boys are outside playing and you can probably hear them so I keep just kind of checking on them. It's so nice whenever we have cooler mornings during the summer and they can get out and have a little fun outside time before it gets to be too hot. <clears throat> and then I get to drink my coffee and read a little bit while they're outside playing. Now and I give it to you. <gasps> I'm gonna add it with those purple flowers. Okay. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. Are you having fun? See you later. This guy was working away today, and then I said, aren't you supposed to be off like Friday or Monday? Do you know which one? He went and checked, and today he's supposed to be off. Uh, at least it was what, when we realized, 10 o'clock? I just worked for two hours today. He said, oh, it's so funny. Nobody's really saying much. It's so quiet at work. I wonder why. So now the boys have packed snack bags. You want to show your snack bag? <gasps> That's a lot. <laughs> And he's gonna go take them to play Pokemon. So that'll be fun. And that means I get to read, right? Oh, you wanna show him your snack bag, Weston? Huge, it's huge, huge. Yours is ginormous. Let me let you in on a little secret. You know all of those quiet, cozy, peaceful reading moments you've seen so far in the vlog? You might be wondering. How does she do that with a five-year-old and a six-year-old in her home? I don't, I don't. Uh, but it might look like I do because everything's been chopped just so and smushed together and a wonderful package for you to enjoy so that you perhaps feel some peace while, while you're enjoying this readathon with me. Now, I do find pockets of reading time. I just have to kind of look for them a little bit more. Uh, my two boys are tornadoes around this house and I am a teacher, I'm off for the summer, and I am trying so hard to focus on my home and get things back in order as we are soon approaching possibly going back to school, who knows with COVID. So I have a lot of random projects going on in the home that I've also been working on during this readathon. So there's been a lot of audiobook listening, which is why I love audiobooks so much. I can do the dishes, clean the kitchen, fold the clothes, sweep the floors. There's like random picture frames in my home. That's a project that's in the works. If you see a random piece of furniture, project in the works, my vacuum was always in the picture because I'm always vacuuming. So all of that is going on in the background while I'm listening to audiobooks during the readathon. So just, just in case you thought, like, how is she doing it? I'm not. Kenties, what you got going here, my friend? Got a little Fourth of July smoking here. Oh, oh my gosh. 
That's a lot of meat. We're sharing this with his family. How long has this been smoking? It's been about four, three hours, three, four hours. Three to four hours. Now what are you putting in? A rack of ribs. Getting ready for the 4th of July. 